close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with your breath all the way in, all the way out. Don't go making any side trips. We're trying to stay on the path. That is not the case that you can't leave the path. Very, you can leave the path very easily. That's the problem. So you want to make sure that as you're with the breath, you're really focused on the breath. Give it your full attention. It's a quality the Buddha calls citta. It's one of the bases for success. In other words, you don't just go through the motions. The whole purpose of the path is not only to shape the mind in a good direction, but also be very clear about what you're doing, because it's in seeing what you're doing that you can understand. Okay, This is how the mind creates a state of becoming. This is how it suddenly forgets its state of becoming, moves off to something else. And this is how you can bring it back. You learn a lot of the ins and outs of the mind. The steadier your gaze, the more you see. If your gaze is jumping around, you never see anything else that's jumping around. Because it's all part of the background, it's all part of the movement of your own eyes. So try to keep your gaze with the breath as steady as you can. Choose one spot in the body that seems most congenial to stay focused. Make sure that you're well fixed there. We're talking about having a full body awareness, but there also has to be one point where your main attention stays focused, and that's your anchor point. So it takes some time to experiment. What is it like to stay focused on the tip of the nose? What is it like to stay focused on the middle of the chest, down around the navel? Try staying with these spots for periods of time and see what effect it has on the mind. Some people find that if they stay around the navel, it gets them sleepy and drowsy. If that's the case with you, can they move your attention up? Some people find if the attention is focused on the head, they start getting headaches. Move your attention down. But find a spot that you, can, that you feel really comfortable with. We say with meditation is like a home for the mind. Well, your focal point here is like your easy chair, the spot in the, in the house where you're most comfortable and most likely to be found, or should be most likely to be found in this case. And watch carefully. When you're easy, in your easy chair, don't doze off. That's the problem. That's why we have the full body awareness system. Make sure you just don't go drifting off. But the singleness of your focus, that's what gives power to the concentration. That's what enables you to see things clearly, because you have a one-point spot there where you can measure the movements of other things against. And you start picking up the subtle things in the mind. It's the subtle things that are the most important, the little whispers and the members of the committee. There are some members of the committee that yell at you and shout at you. Those are pretty obvious. It's the ones that whisper in your ear. As they used to say, the, the advisor who had the king's ear didn't have to say much, didn't have to say much in the meetings, just whispered in the king's ear and the king was off with him. Well, there are voices like that in your mind. You've got to get to know them, too. So make the mind as steady as you can, as still as you can. And that's when you begin to hear the whispering campaigns, and you can do something about them. 